Hi guys and welcome to week two of your fitness activities sessions. Uh, today we are focusing on speed and agility. Agility being the ability to move in different directions at pace. Okay, so we're going to do some SAQ trainings. SAQ stands for, for speed, agility and quickness. So everything today we want to do as fast as we can. And um, we're focusing on moving our feet specifically um, in between different obstacles. So the obstacles today, there'll be uh, four activities for you. I want you to choose, um, in your opinion, the easiest one to do first, and then see if you can complete all four. Remember to upload your videos on Teams so I can see, and let me know some of the feedback. Okay guys, good luck. Okay, activity one. You have to make a square shape out of either cones, or you can use some clothing at home, or anything you want which resembles a square. The whole purpose of this is to be able to move forward, backwards and sideways as quick as we can. So we should be light on our toes, on the tippy toes um, of our feet and challenge yourself to how fast you can move. Okay, for activity number one, I have my square here. So four cones I've used, you can use whatever you like, like I've said. The whole purpose is to shuffle, okay? So two feet out, two feet in, sideways. Once you've done sideways to the left, when you go forward, so two feet out, two feet in. When you go, go, go to the right, two feet out, two feet in, and then you're gonna finish backwards. Two feet out, two feet in, okay? So if I was to do this at a medium pace now, we go two out, two in. Okay, I wanna see how quickly you can perform this activity. So again, I'll go a bit quicker, two, Okay, I want you to practice with that. Let me know how you get on. Activity number two looks like a ladder shape. So as you can see here, I have set up six cones, which I'm gonna use as a ladder. Again, at home, you can use anything, like items of clothing, any objects around the house, which aren't gonna break, of course, uh, to make a ladder. And then we're gonna work on our footwork. So many sprinters will look at this, moving our quick, quickly and closely together. And also many footballers as well would use this in their training program. So let's ha see how I get on here. Again, if I was to do this slowly, I'd go nice high knees in and out of these cones. I don't want to touch these cones, okay? I'm trying to just touch with my tippy toes again in and out, nice and high knees. I'm gonna use my arms, as momentum as well. So I'm gonna speed that up now. You see? see how I was striving up? See how quickly, here you go. So practice again. There we go. You can make this ladder as long as you want or as short as you want. It's completely up to you. But I just wanna see how quickly can you move your feet. If you've done that and you find that easy, we're now gonna look at going in between the cones, side stepping. So keep it exactly the same. Instead of sprinting, we're gonna go low center of gravity, and in, and out, okay? Working on our agility, that might benefit me in some sports by getting around, being able to, get, uh, as I said, low center of gravity to keep our balance, and it's just moving at speed. So I'll do that one more time. That was the second adaptation from that. <coughs> okay, my feet moved very little then. So these are, uh, this is two adaptations of activity two, and now we're gonna move on to the third one now. So for activity three, there's a bit more running involved. We're again looking at our agility, but this is more speed. This has a short, short distance where we're sprinting as hard as we can. It's our ability to move around two cones and finish off with a sprint. I'm going to show you the layout uh, before we get started with this. So if you just uh, pay attention to the next video here. So you need to start with two cones fairly wide apart. Okay, here. So you have a gate to begin with. Then we're going to move on to two cones in between. They are singular cones like so. And you're finishing with these two cones here as a gate, okay? 
Now I'm going to talk to you through what needs to happen. Through the first gate, which is where you're going to start, you are going to sprint as quick as you can to this cone here. Once you reach this cone here, your feet are going to quickly, I'm doing this slowly for you, it's going to quickly do a loop of the cone. Okay, once you've done a loop, you're going to move on to the next one, obviously as quickly as possible. You're going to do another loop with quick feet. And then once you've done that final loop, you're going to sprint past these two cones. Okay, I want you to time yourself doing that. So, and then once you've done that, you can start from these two cones again as a gate to finish off over there. Okay, now you're gonna watch me perform this. Okay, so one whole loop uh, counts as one. Time yourself and let me know how you get on, guys. Well done. And your fourth and final video for today is going to incorporate a little bit of jumping now. So I'm going to use hurdles here from school. However, you can use any object at home which requires you to jump a slight height um, in this slalom. So I'm going to keep it exactly the same as last. The only additions now to the circuit is... There's one hurdle here and one hurdle here. Okay, they are the only additions. So when you start in between the gate, you're gonna to jump to a hurdle first, jump over, move sideways between, jump again, and finish off with a sprint through the gate. I'm gonna show you that um, in full now. So like I said, we're starting in this gate here. We are going to sprint as quick as we can to this first hurdle. We need two feet together and we're gonna jump over the hurdle. We are then going to sidestep, sidestep to this first cone, which you're then gonna to sprint to the other cone. You're then gonna sidestep again, two feet together, jump over the second hurdle, and you're gonna finish with a sprint in between this gate. You're going to turn around and uh, complete this backwards. Okay, guys? I'm going to record myself again so you can see me competing in it. Remember what I said guys, I want you to choose which one you think is going to be easiest first. Start with that one and then make your way through the videos. See if you complete all four and upload your videos into Teams. That's from me. That's all from me this week. So I look forward to uh, speaking to you all next week. Well done, guys. Let me know how it goes on.